Hey, what's up? Welcome to the third episode of the audio tutorials about compression that I'm doing here on YouTube. If you've missed part one and two, check these out right here. In this third episode, I'm gonna look at compression in a more practical way. I'm gonna start using Cubase, but it doesn't really matter which DAW that you use. Let's start with this vocal track that I've got lined up right here. I'll play it to you first without any compression. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. So this part sounds a lot louder than the first part right here we're gonna tear it apart now we want to compensate the difference in sound with compression uh, we could actually visualize the threshold and uh, already see which peaks we want to remove um, in Cubase here it doesn't matter which uh, which host that you use I'm gonna go to my inserts and I'm gonna click on a empty insert slot and I'm gonna browse to my dynamics and I'm gonna use the default standard compressor which is on this list here under dynamics and uh, this is a standard dynamic compressor which is in Cubase if I'm uh, opening that up it's gonna be in the first slot right here and you can see the functions right here I've got the threshold which lowers the point from where it starts working and then I've got the ratio and that's the amount of compression taking place above that point of the threshold then I've got the makeup gain which in this case per default is on auto so that means that for every DB of gain reduction the gain of the output will be one as well um, I'm just gonna turn that off so I have no gain on the on the compensation side and I'm just gonna listen to what the compressor does um, first with a ratio of uh, let's say around three and then I'm gonna start lowering the threshold so you can hear the effect we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now you can hear that this already sounds more like one chunk of audio and doesn't really that part doesn't really stick out that much and um, what we see when we look at the at the interface of the compressor here we've got in gr and out this is the input level before compression then we have the gr or gain reduction and that's the amount of actual compression taking place and then we have the output level so if we have no gain makeup and quite a lot of compression the output should be a lot softer than the input and i can demonstrate that by lowering the threshold increasing the ratio a bit and we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now you can see there's a well a decent uh, amount of dynamic range in the input there's a lot of gain reduction therefore the output is a lot softer because we're compressing a hell of a lot so if i'm going back and uh, go to a more decent ratio right here around three go back to the threshold around 20. we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now on the peaks I've got around 6.7 dB of gain reduction and in the average we're gonna tear it apart now. I've got 3 to 4 dB of gain reduction so I'm gonna add a little bit of gain makeup to compensate for the compression taking place so I'm gonna add around 5, 4 or 5 dB of gain makeup because I've got so much headroom left in this recording I could actually boost it a little bit with the compressor we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now that is with the compression and the game makeup I'm gonna listen to both and AB compare it with both of them with and without compression we're gonna tear it apart now 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 in this row right here we've got the attack which is uh, how fast will the compressor start to compress so if I if that's gonna be a lot slower than it is now we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now you can hear that the compressor is not fast enough to actually grab all of these peaks so the attack should be a lot faster like that if the attack is too fast I'm actually gonna kill the original attack of my signal and that's something I don't want either so I'm gonna put it around like 8 milliseconds we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now then I'm gonna look at the release setting which is this one here it's set on 500 I'm gonna put that a little bit slower so we can hear the difference I'm gonna put it really really fast release so that means the compression is stopping quite fast and then I'm gonna have a long release so you can hear that the, the sound will continue to be compressed and doesn't sound that good but we'll hear that in a second we're gonna tear it apart now we're gonna tear it apart now now with a slow release we're gonna tear it apart now 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 
with the faster release, you can hear that it sounds a lot more, uh, well, uh, decent. The compressor doesn't compress too much and it doesn't sound too dragging. Um, so a, a bit of a faster release would be better on this, uh, on this type of vocal, I prefer. Um, as is with compression, it's a lot about taste. As you can hear the difference with and without, this actually already adds a bit of character. Uh, if you're going to look at analog compressors, they really add that character. For example, if you have tube compressors, people really like them for the specific sound that they add to the signal. Now I'm going to take a look at the same vocal part but I'm going to compress it with a different compressor I'm going to go to the insert section here and I'm going to browse to my powered plugins mono version and I'm going to look for the SSL E channel strip this is a plugin for UAD cards I've got this uh, universal audio UAD card installed um, this is a plugin which is based on an original SSL channel so I've got the whole channel strip here which includes the filters then I've got a dynamic section right here with a compressor then I've got an expander gate then I've got this EQ section right here and I've got my output section for my gain input gain and output gain and even a phase reverse switch right here and this is for turning the whole plugin on and off so this is a uh, this really based on an analog SSL console as uh, Universal Audio does a lot with their plugins they really make good replicas of the original hardware. I'm just gonna go through the dynamic section as this uh, tutorial is about dynamics. Then we see only three functions and that's just like the original hardware offers. And then we see that it has no makeup gain. That's because it has a built-in makeup gain which compensates for the amount of compression taking place. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. You can already hear straight away that this emulation of this uh, this uh, hardware compressor really gives that analog uh, harmonic distortion to the signal, which is really a uh, really nice sounding. So uh, I really like the sound of it. Here, let's oh. listen to these peaks. They really sound nice with the compressor. Like We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. And because I've got so much headroom on this recording, I can actually boost it a little bit here on the output so it gives a little bit more of that analog saturation. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. That's the original. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. I'm gonna check out the LA28. A lot of other plugins are based on the behavior of the LA-28. It was a really popular compressor. Just like the original hardware, it only offers two functions. On the right, we've got the peak reduction, which is the ratio and the threshold in one. And on the left, we've got the gain makeup. This here is the setting for the meter, and it's always important to check meters. And it's set to display the amount of gain reduction. We didn't see any peaks. That's because the compressor is not compressing, because the peak reduction is set to zero. We're gonna tear it apart now. If we want to have more compression, we need to increase this value right here. We're gonna tear it apart now. But now we lose a lot of the signal, so we just want to lower that a little bit and increase the gain on the input. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. A little bit more. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. So let me uh, A B compare the difference. So this is without compressor. We're gonna tear it apart now. And this is wit. We're gonna tear it apart now. We're gonna tear it apart now. So this was the third more practical session. Um, next week I'm gonna look at the sidechain compression and go deeper into uh, New York drum compression or parallel compression and show you some of the tricks with that. And uh, after that I'm gonna look at gates and other dynamic processors. So uh, check it out weekly and uh, stay tuned.